Hello and uh, welcome back to my East Eel Castle Cup uh, adventure. We are in round four. Let me put up my uh, deck. I've seen it before and I made a deck tech about it, so check that out. And uh, my opponent. Look at this uh, deck. So I'm going to talk a little bit about it. I'm trying to make those uh, these deck tracks uh, short, but uh, I think this is a pretty cool concept because uh, he has, uh, you can see, he has most of the Power Nine and Jewel Lands and Library and Mind Twist and all that good stuff. But he's put in some spicy cards in this deck. Yeah, <coughs> he has a Meek Stone, so creatures with. Uh, power 2 or greater doesn't untap uh, power greater than 2 I think and uh, with the and he has a kismet uh, and he has royal assassin to take out all those uh, tapped creatures also has two ice manipulators so there's a good example of a, a spicy deck but a good deck since you have all that power uh, the deck is still good, but he has some spicy cards and uh, get some style points, so a very cool deck. So let's see how this goes. Round 4. And uh, game number 1, you have uh, my opponent to left and me to right. My opponent is on the play, starts out with a meek stone. Wow, something spicy. I start out with a factory and a blackwise. So what is he playing? Meek stone, huh? That's something you don't see every day, especially not in the main deck. So uh, let's see what we can do here. I have another factory and another blackwise. And he has a hurtless recall. Another spicy card. And you know I like the hurtless recall. And here's a demonic tutor. So he has a city of brass untapped. So maybe ancestral recall or a mind twist for the next turn, perhaps. So he, it looks like he has uh, four cards in his hand, and he passed the turn. I'm going to play out the uh, black wise again, especially if he found a uh, ancestral recall, then they would do some damage. Yes, it was the recall. So, double black wise will he cast black wise at the end of his turn and uh, my turn? Yes, he does. So, he takes one damage from the city of brass. He has six or seven cards in hand. So he's going down to 14. Place a Tundra. I think he has five cards now. Thinking about casting something. A Chaos Orb. Mm, no, he doesn't activate it. his turn I cast a lightning bolt gotta get in those uh, burn damage and here I am trying to tilt my head to, to get a better look at my hand but uh, <laughs> it doesn't work like that um, a mind twist okay so he's down to four cards and I mind twist him for three so since he's uh, he has four or below uh, the black wise doesn't work, so why not mind twist? I take out a Sarah and a Scepter. A copy artifact on the Chaos Orb. So it looks like he's going for my uh, factories. So, camera flip, number one. Ooh, a perfect hit. And number two, another perfect hit. Okay, he is good at flipping. So I'm 
down to two lands and a wheel of fortune that's a perfect card here with a double uh, black wise out so uh, that would be six damage to my opponent so it's going down to four I have two moxes so I can perhaps cast some spells okay three moxes <laughs> gotta play out some spells here a strip mine on my volcanic island and a Sarah angel okay so he is down to three or four cards three cards in his hand he has four artifacts in play the Hercules recall so he's back to seven cards in his hand and I have that black, double black wise so he's trying to sword his uh, Sarah Angel to get some life but I counter it and now it's down to six cards and that's four damage in his upkeep perfect okay so sideboarding so I didn't see that much of his uh, spicier cards, so I saw some whites, I put in Gloom and Shatter, and took out the counter spells and uh, sit, and, uh, sit in a bottle. Okay, so I have an Assassin Recall in my hand, some lands and a Psionic Blast, and he has Sword, a 2 disc Chant, Divine Offering. So he has a lot of uh, artifact destruction. So I have a Volcanic Idol. A factory end of turn and says recall draw three cards yes thank you draw a soul ring so I play a factory comes a soul ring into a black wise floating one mana so I uh, I have a Shatter in my hand. Of course I would like to take that factory. But why not? Let's take his uh, ruby. And in response he disenchant my soul ring. <laughs> so there's a strip mine. is thinking about some casting something okay so he uses his strip pipe on my volcanic island and pass the turn I think I saw a chaos orb in his hand basic island and pass the turn he cast a disenchant on my black wise there's a chaos orb and he missed his uh, land drop that's interesting for me at least. Okay, so I attack for two since he's tapped out. And uh, he doesn't draw any lands. a smart thing to take out your opponent's uh, colored fan. So he respond with uh, activating his care sob. Another very good flip. <laughs> so he has uh, one land and I have two. And he can he did don't doesn't didn't draw a, a land. So he's at 17. I'm at 20 start attacking because he can't activate his factory so I see I have some burn cards in my hand but uh, it's better to use the factories so I attack for three here because psionic damage of course would do more damage but uh, when you have that opening oh, oh my <laughs> gloom that's a good card when your opponent has a lot of white cards in his hand and his pass grid. So I 
attack for 4, puts him down to 8. We draw another factory. So I see it. So I don't have rat mana, but I know there is at least one psionic blast in my hand. Yeah, because uh, he has two factories out now, so I don't want to trade. Okay, well, and there's another one in my hand. Alright, perfect. Four damage. GG. So I uh, win. Uh, two to zero. So good to be back on the winning, winning track. Uh, game one. There was a lot of uh, black wise damage and some uh, Hercules Recall shenanigans. So uh, that was a pretty cool uh, ending when I uh, used the Hercules Recall to return all his uh, artifacts to his hand, so he would die to uh, to the to the to black wises. He cast a sort of plosure on his Sarah Angel to try to gain some life, but I counterspelled it and. Uh, and it was over. Uh, the second game, he got mana screwed. So, uh, yeah, that wasn't uh, a very good game for him. So, uh, let me take out that uh, sideboard picture again. So, I, of I often take out my counter spells. Yeah, maybe my least favorite card in this uh, list. Um, I didn't see that much of his uh, combo part with the Royal Assassins and Kismet in the first game, so I wasn't quite sure what he was playing. Um, but I, I didn't see any Arabian cards. And looks like he had uh, some uh, white cards and uh, some artifacts, so two gloves and uh, three shatter. Pretty safe sideboarding. Yeah. So uh, back on the winning track. Four more rounds to go. No, two more rounds to go. Let's do this. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.